Now, I'd like to make clear, this plate of the rolls was never intended to do this. It was simply intended to be shown as a specially uh, three-dimensional model at the conference for future energy in Washington last November for the support of those from this lecture on this technology. Because of the mass interest, we decided that we could go further and do some experiment work to prove the missing information we need for the patent application. What you see is the proof of that experiment. Now, anyone saying it can't work you must be feeling awful. Because here before their very eyes prove that not only will they stay on, they will actually rotate at a constant rate. When we increase the voltage and we cannot go higher than the 10 volts we're using, because the space for them to rotate is not there. So we have to accept that this particular rate of velocity shown here is the maximum we dare go while we got these spoils in the way in which we are doing our measurements. So where is that force coming from that is now constantly accelerating that? Right, now we look what happened when there's two. Maybe best to put that at the marker. We'll put that to line, line up as a marker so that uh, one can see what that does. Right, now if we put the part on that now, it won't run because it's sitting at the bottom of the trough until the trough is excited. It shouldn't run until the trough is excited. We leave it there so that it's sitting still. Now, oh, now we see how Newton's law behaves when we insert the second one. Right, nothing's happened. Now if I bring this over to the trough, So what we see here, that there is on one a little bit more forceful moment acting. That is probably due to the interreaction between the one already there and the one that is added to it. Now now balance out, I think that could be seen now quite clearly. Newton's law is upheld. Now continuing at constant speed at constant distance from each other. Newton is wrong. Especially we really want to get one to the to the front. Is that alright? Okay. Right. Right. Now we've got three rollers. And at the moment, nothing is added in force. Now, if we're going to gently itch this forward until it feels a force. It's clearly that Newton's law should hold true. They are travelling at constant speed. Each roller is exerting a force on the left one. And the chain reaction is happening 
the train will roll us. So, so far, we haven't broken it at all. Now, what we, we've seen here is that uh, it comes into the law of the squares, which will be dealt with later. But we still keep to Newton's law for the moment in our discussion. Right, we now place four. Now, look carefully how they're positioned. Now, they're positioned because it's like a spring. It's selected. One of the t uh, way, uh, well, tip in the spring or the top of the way. Now we'll, we'll try to make sure some force is applied. The force applied is negligible. But Newton's law is upheld. They still travel at constant speed. And interaction between roll and roller are keeping a set distance. Now, because the wave on it is set for 12 rollers, the wave gets stretched a bit at certain points. They are moving, even though it's a tiny force that was applied. It is underway based on the force acting on it. So between this and here, there's a force, quite a large one. Yet it's only a little force that we are excited about. It well reminds me of Albert Einstein when he stated that the atom had this gigantic amount of energy in it. It would take too much energy to get that out, so it wouldn't be worth it. The boss is proved is wrong. The same picture here. One would think it would take a lot of energy to make this happen. Yet it doesn't. It was only taking roughly some volts at around about 600 million to produce this force. And this is the interesting point, that every line of flux that is cutting a line of conductor will induce electricity. The faster this goes, the higher will that voltage induce be. And current is proportionate to the voltage. For well, the higher we can get this voltage up, we can then step it down to get the current really fast. That's what complicated to do, that's doing being done all the time. All we do is show that we can use a very small force to get a very big force out of it. These rollers are traveling at constant speed, exactly as you can explain. Where are we breaking the laws of physics? Where? Yeah, Tell me. 